time. There's people who desire more and there's people who really are going to be sheep no matter what you do. There's a lot of people that is not even worth trying to even make them understand. They won't ever get it. It's not in their DNA code to understand outside of these time strands and these boxes. And uh, when you really think about life in general you think about some people who have to sleep you think about people who really live in these rules that was given to us and the design that was given to us it's really no way to make them understand what's going on There's really no way to make them really perceive like the box that they live in. And when you really think about it, There is a reason why you have extremely successful people and there is a reason why you have people that will never be nothing other than what the program gives them. One thing I learned about playing sports is extreme dedication to something will pay off. If you work on your jump shot a lot, it'll pay off. If you work on your bounce a lot, it'll pay off. Like That's one thing I've learned about life extreme dedication to something will pay off if you put your 100% into something it will pay off I've noticed that some people really can't live without the program I've noticed is that a lot of people can't live without the program it's impossible for them to put their life in their own hands. It's literally impossible. I've tried to give people the keys to success. I've tried to give people step by step how to beat the game and they can't. It bothered me for years trying to show people the rules to this society and how to cheat the program, how to cheat time, how to live inside time, I mean, how to live outside of time. And some people just really can't. They really, really can't. Like, they can't. No matter how much you, you, tr they can't. They really can't. You could give everybody the keys to success and they'll really just fuck it up themselves. They'll really blow it. Over many years, for the past 30 plus years of my life, I've found people and tried to make them better. And you can't. You can't, you literally can't. 30 plus years of my life, I've been finding people, trying to make them better. And you know what happened? It's a waste of fucking time. That's all it is. A waste. You cannot fix people who wasn't meant to be fixed. 
Everybody has a specific purpose in this world. Everybody has a role. It's like net code. Specific characters have a role in the code to make sure the game works properly. Some of these motherfuckers are not meant to be fixed. You must accept as a as a coder, right? I consider conscious people and unconscious people coders and programs, right? Motherfuckers who understand this matrix, they're coders. They know how to code. People who sleep, they're just programs, right? You cannot make a programmer a you cannot make a program a programmer. You can't. You can show them the ropes. They'll fucking mimic your ropes until you leave. When you step, when you take off the training wheels of that asset, or you take off the training wheels of that uh, perspective, they'll go right back to doing what they normally been doing. Right back. Which makes you feel like it's a complete waste. Look, on some real shit, y'all, I'm the only nigga in my position that is not stingy with nothing. I share every contact I got. I share every outlet I got. I'm never stingy with nothing. Some of these people get in position, they hide everything. I'm never stingy with nothing. I've given my friends, I've given niggas Ab Soul verses, I've given niggas Denzel Curry verses, I've given niggas everything that I didn't even put out myself. I've given niggas shit that I didn't put out myself. I've gave niggas, man, I didn't introduce niggas to everybody, bro. I realized this shit. It's a waste of time. Now, the more and more deeper I get into this artistry and this industry, now I'm starting to see why some niggas just really unplug. Like, nah, fuck y'all. I'm going to just live it up for myself. Now I'm starting to see why. You just waste fucking time trying to help people. There's a reason. When you made it into a specific scenario... There is a reason why you made it. Right? When you made it into a specific scenario in your in your life, there's a reason why you got there and they didn't. There's a reason. There's an actual reason why you made it to that speci- that specific level of life and they didn't. There is a fucking reason. If niggas can't make it on their own, they not meant to make it. You cannot show niggas who how to swim. Ain't no point to show niggas how to swim. A nigga just gonna swim the opposite way. You gonna keep trying to grab the nigga. It's gonna make you slow down. Sometimes I sit back and go, if I wouldn't have helped if I wouldn't have helped 30% of the niggas that I've been helping, I'd be a lot farther in my own career. I really be giving niggas the platform to success, bro. I be Look, let me tell you. If let me let me put this in the metaphorical standpoint. Let's say there's a football team and we run a play. And the play is a running play, right? It's a run. It's like a flea flicker run, right? So what I'll be doing is I'll be, I, I'm the quarterback. I grab the ball and run left. The whole entire football team on the defensive end will run left. The whole time, the running back got the ball on the right-hand side. 
It is a wide open touchdown and nobody is there to stop him. He is a wide, is a wide open touchdown. The niggas that I've handed the ball to run out of bounds. Niggas will run out of bounds. Like just completely out of bounds. Wide open football. Lane, 100 yard dash with nobody to stop them. Niggas will run out of bounds. It's crazy, bro. Look, this goes to all the niggas in my DMs, all the niggas saying they need this and they need that. I'm going to just keep it real with y'all niggas. I can't help you. I don't want to help you on no personal level. I don't give a fuck about you. I did enough. I gave enough information. You niggas just want to talk personally. No. I don't give a fuck what you going through. I don't care how old you are. I don't give a fuck what you going through. You didn't listen to none of the shit I said. Niggas will bypass everything I said and really try to hit me up and ask me for personal advice. I be like, these niggas just want to talk. You just, you like a baby. You want a pacifier. Look, man. I'm getting out of this conscious thing. I don't want to do this shit no more, man. You want me to tell you why I don't want to do this shit no more? Because it's stressful on me, bro. It's stressful on my back, man. I got to open up my DM. Man, now I see why Jesus died. I think Jesus never got killed. But I think he committed suicide. They must have flipped the script. Because if I was Jesus, man, I would have been, man, God, get me out of here, man. These niggas asking for all type of prayer. Niggas be thinking I'm God. You nigga came to me talking about daylight. I don't really know what I'm going to do because you just blessed me. Bitch, who the fuck you think I am? Look, I know it's a lot of y'all that look up to me. I'm tell y'all some valuable shit about